During the year, I do get a little busy here on my YouTube channel doing things like reviews for cameras and lenses. And in fact, I actually filmed a couple of videos this year and I never got around to editing. Like the time I hired the Nikon AF-S 200-500mm f5.6 lens to try out for a couple of weeks. I made a video with it using my Nikon D850 as most of you know, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it at the end of this one. But I forgot I ended up doing some bird photography with this 200-500mm to on my Nikon Z7 via the FTZ2 adapter. So better late than never, here is this video I made using the Nikon Z7 with the Nikon AF-S 200-500mm to via the FTZ2 adapter doing some bird photography. There were so many birds out on this day, everything from rainbow bee eaters keeping an eye out for their next bee meal to come flying past, to mistletoe birds feasting on berries. Even some birds I've never seen in this area before, like this inquisitive little guy. This Lewin's honey eater was enjoying an early morning drink off these leaves. Yeah, steady up there buddy, pace yourself. I found the 200 to 500 was giving me some sharp shots when I nailed the focus. It's not so much the lens but the Z7 which was making things a little difficult. I have no doubt if I would have had a more modern Z camera, something like a Z8 or Z9, things would have been much different. I noticed birds were flocking towards this one particular berry tree and gorging themselves. like these male and female mistletoe birds. But they weren't the only ones getting in on the act. The Lewin's honey eaters were also helping themselves. So too were these silver eyes. Interesting fact about these silver eye birds, they make the long journey all the way up from the southern end of Australia towards the north during the winter in search of warmer weather during mating season. It's always enjoyable getting out into nature with the camera. You just never know what you might find to photograph. Nature can be really magical sometimes, so it is worth going and picking up your camera and going out there and enjoying it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, I was actually pretty surprised at the image quality that I was able to get from that 200 to 500 on that Nikon Z7 via the FTZ2 adapter. It's not quite as good as say what the new Z180 to 600 millimeter lens is in terms of focusing speed and VR, but I was still able to get some really nice images if I got the focus right on that Z7, because as we know, the Z7 isn't the very best in focusing. Anyway, take care, never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.